right and back. We'll continue. The campaign. Right, now we'll treat that here. Okay. We had the highwaymen, archers, we have the uh, high troll ambushers, uh, the trolls are more numerous, combat bonus boots or snow, long range missiles, excellent morale, can use flaming missiles, while the highwaymen have uh, effective bon bonus in combat bonus in the boots or snow, uh, excellent morale, can use flaming missiles, effective against armor, so these guys are better. They penetrate the uh, armor. Armor is only 50% of the number. For example, if you have total defense 6, uh, it will only count as 3, then they have armor penetration. It removes half the armor of the enemy. While uh, the higher number, 12 ambassadors, they uh, do not have that, so they uh, do not penetrate armor. But they have a uh, longer range instead, so they are better in the sense that they can fire from longer distance uh, uh, further distance away uh, the pirate musketeers effective against armor excellent morale they were good 14 at mi missile attack 12 melee 2 shot bonus well the goblin tail gunners have 5 melee attack 1 shot bonus so they, uh, these guys have better weapons in melee I believe these guys have like a knife and these guys have swords sabers they are better. And then 14 missiles, 8 missiles, and these guys have better guns too. Uh, yeah, and better defense. <coughs> Excellent morale and penetrate armor. These guys are also effective against armor. The tail gunners. Uh, combat bonus boots of snow. Excellent morale, can't hide. Good stamina. They have better abilities but are weaker in their stats. We have the bandit raiders, the cavalry, light cavalry, human cavalry. And they are decent, but they are not as good as the human cavalry of the human factions because they are armored knights. We have bandit infantry too, they are 10 attack, 2 shot bonus, 12 defense, effective against armor. Their axes can penetrate armor, meaning armor only counts as 50%. Combat bonus and snow, uh, wood or snow. Excellent morale. May charge without orders. Good stamina. Uh, well, uh, yeah, they are good uh, compared to the goblin infantry. Four attack, two sharp bonus, five defense. They are pretty bad. Then we have some better ones. Brassiers and the goblin infantry. Goblin infantry can do shield all. We have the Goblin Death Stealers, they are elite. I think 
because the early two have increased their numbers too. They are really good. They were too bad and they were like 35 or so in a unit. Now they are 75. They've increased it with twice the old number. Then we have the sappers throwing dynamites. The bears pretty much pretty good. And then we have high ogre brutes. Really good infantry. We have the trike gangs. Mounted bikes. Like uh, we have a gang of uh, like uh, a bike gang shooting pistols. And then we have the goblin rockets throwing dynamite. Mounted uh, sappers essentially on rockets. They are really fast, the fast unit in the, in the mod. And we have these guys, really good range units. They shoot a really powerful laser attack that kill a lot of enemies. They are on a similar level, <coughs> they are on equal level to a mage. And with the hub goblins and the hub goblin bodyguard, bodyguard is better. Same numbers. Uh, this one has very good stamina and the other one has good stamina and the uh, attack is better for the bodyguard and the defense. Then with the goblin alchemist, they are ogres, goblins riding ogres. In melee the ogres do pretty good damage and uh, but uh, yeah they do pretty well. But not as good as the higher ogre brutes, they have 19 attack and uh, 10 charge bonus. These guys have 14 attack and 6 shot bonus. 17 with the defense, both of them are 17. 4 hit points. 4 hit points for both. <coughs> but these guys um, can swim and uh, are effective against armor. Because they shoot, the goblins shoot the projectile to the enemy. Goblin Artificer and the Goblin Shredders in Undermine. We have some free slots. The Goblin Artificer, the Shredders. Kind of using the others as uh, garrison. Okay, let's do the Goblin Rockets and the Trike Gangs. Why not? And the Alright, can build something. the leather to near. We want better armor. Do not have all the units available here. We have a large city. When we get a huge city we can get their final unit, which is the colossal war form. Their elephant, giant, uh, mechanized unit. Goblins uh, controlling it inside of course, but it's a giant monstrosity. It's like a mechanized giant. Okay. We get it only from the same building, but when we have the final settlement level. To get the final level of the settlement we need a larger population and then upgrade the city. Alright, we move it 
here. Yeah. One time we are done with the Goblin Alchemists. And one time we are done with the others too. We might use the cavalry there faster. Catching up with the troops there. Here is the enemy. They don't have a full army. We will attack. But before we attack, hire some mercenaries. Hire some additional mercenaries here. All of them are part of our roster, but there are also mercenaries for the Horde and the Dark Horde. Other shaman factions. Right. Now. Could move out something probably. But move out the um, bombard. Say the word. Actually, yes, my liege. Could move out any range unit. Say the word. What do you need? They are not good. Uh, controlled by the AI. Yes, my liege. Infantry first of all. Battles, we could uh, say the word. Right, we will uh, start sieging. Bombard 2. We don't need 
that. Now we can work the gunners, I think. Say the word. What do you need? I prefer if Orders. I hold the infantry unit. All the infantry can be used. Cannon fodder. We will control the other army. We can attack. This is the entire army. We have some pirates, highwaymen, bandits, and raiders. So in, the, in old versions of the mod, uh, <coughs> in old ver older versions of the mod, the, the highwaymen, the highwaymen were unique to the rebels or minor factions. This unit, but the rest were goblin units. But they added this one too. It fit with others. Okay, so let's put the Allied army under AI control, but with uh, the option to command it in battle through the, 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 the little UI menu there. So if, if you have this selected, it will be entirely controlled by the AI. And uh, when we do this, we have the option to select uh, shootout stance, defensive stance, or aggressive stance, which is good. Army strength ratio 2 1 in our favor. Trade Prince Yas, yes, the rest are under 19 goblins, bandit, human bandits, and uh, trolls, ogres, and uh, have an iron sar, it's 49 such units, and then we have heart in it, 15 bandits, start the battle. So this is the first battle I do in, in, on this map that I record. I believe I did uh, two other battles with the Dark Horde against the Horde in the late game after I let the AI play for over 1400 turns. Then I found a Dark Horde army in the middle of the Eastern Kingdoms and uh, the rest of the Dark Horde were in, I mean, I found the Dark, Dark Horde army in Kalimdor in the Ungoro Traitor. The rest of the army we are in the Eastern Kingdom, so I had conquered most of it. The Horde had conquered half of Kalimdor and the Legion had conquered the other half. And the Scourge had conquered Nortrend entirely. They fought uh, some battles between the Dark Horde and the Horde. Until it crashed. Then I fought the Night Elves as the Horde, I believe. I fought uh, two battles with the Night Elves too. And, or the Horde. I played the Horde and attacked the Night Elves in Teldrassil. And the problem was that uh, they sent out those uh, agents of war, elephants, and it crashed when, whenever I stood in on them. That's when I realized that the uh, new version of the Medieval Total War and the product tool, or M2TV UP tool, crashed the game. So we couldn't use it. Face my wrath! you! Face my wrath! Okay. Cut your heart out! Prepare to die! The troops. We have the Goblin Bombards. Vanilla Bombards with a new crew. And we have uh, the Bandit Raiders. They're both men and women. Face my wrath! Light cavalry. The only normal cavalry of the Goblins. We have the Tail Gunners. We have the Pirate Musketeers. Composed of... Feel my blade! Composed of... Composed of Dark Iron Dwarves, Cosmodan Dwarves and Goblins. Male goblins make up the tail gunners. We have the hub goblin bodyguard. Very giant creatures, big creatures similar to like trolls of other fantasy settings. They are hub goblins here. Trolls in world are much more like slim. They are not fat like these guys. Okay, and then uh, 
themselves to have the hired troll ambushers. They are Grubashi trolls. They've been hired. Jungle trolls. Unique unit of trolls that do not. He is not available to the Grubashi trolls, but is available as mercenaries to the other trolls. The Amani, the Faraki, and the Dracari. Because it made sense to be named hired trolls. It fit best. They are not available to the jungle trolls. Grubashi. They have the highwaymen. I believe it should uh, lower this to 66. Alright, so the highwaymen have been mercenaries in a uh, few releases, but they were never part of this faction until the October 20th release, I believe. They are new for the faction as a unit. Originally they were not supposed to be a part of this faction because they had uh, troll, high trolls instead. But they fit with the bandits and the raiders, especially after I used them as mercenaries. So, so I saw no reason why not uh, to add them as well. As they fit. What else do we have? Um, nothing here. We have the allied army on the other side. We'll check it too. the elite goblin death dealers this is the female I wanted as the assassin on the map she was bugged sadly Panty can do goblins maybe he could do her I don't know but I don't think he will bother he he did uh, a male unit Re already he did this guy let's see if we have a better one he did a male version as the assassin back in 2018 I believe this guy I would have preferred if it was the, uh, this girl would fit better but anyway I couldn't do the goblins as agents on the map they were too small and glitched out the uh, Ceridans or Bandus uh, goblins on the map are not glitched so didn't want to replace his male with a glitched female okay so here we have the Reinforcement the, shred the shredders, similar unit to the gnomic warriors, but goblins riding them instead, and different mechs. They're similar units with similar stats, one of the best units of the trade coalition on goblins. <coughs> but then we have the higher ogres too, they are really good. They have the same siege ram as the horde and the dark hood. Bandits and uh, Tinkers, really good infantry unit. They were few in all the releases, they had like Tartar, so units increased in numbers. Now they are worthwhile to recruit. They were too few, they weren't very good because they died too soon. They had so few numbers, but now with 100 in the unit, they are pretty good. We have Goblin um, Brassier, heavy infantry. of the shield and sword, shield and axe, heavy infantry, the goblin infantry, heavy infantry. Yeah, it's named goblin infantry, okay. Um, bandits, they are actually pretty good compared to the goblins. They have weaker defense than the heavy infantry or infantry, but uh, they, they have better attacks. They have no cavalry. But I believe they should have that ogre somewhere. The general. No, they don't have a general, they have a captain. I don't know. Unless we didn't send the alchemist here. No, it was the other army, I think. Okay, so this is the enemy settlement. Bandit Co. It has the storm in colors. It's a Stormwind Rebel area. I've seen both the Gurbash and the Dark Horde and Stormwind take there. Yeah. From Rebels. This version of the mod. Let's uh, see here. Might want to control an actual general. But I don't want to tap out. Might mess up the recording. We won't control the general in battle. 
That's a problem. With others, I believe it could tab out and stuff. Here it might actually interfere with the recording. No, yeah. Let's just fight the battle normally. Almost wanted to control it. Control the general. Let's attack the gate. But uh, before we do that, uh, the, the bombards have really bad. Uh, like uh, accuracy. We need to move them closer. So that they won't miss. We don't have unlimited ammunition. If we fail to destroy the gate, we would lose the battle. But our ally has uh, siege rams, so they will probably destroy their gate anyway. But this one has uh, gotten stuck. Yeah, they will move past that tree, good. These rams are really cool. They are from Warhammer beginning of the end times, I believe, but they are uh, edited to, to not have the Warhammer symbols, etc. There might be one or so symbol left, like this one, but all the big ones were removed, so they look more like Warcraft rams. Then we removed all the Orcs and Goblin symbols, or most of them, the big ones. The ones I could remove. Get permission to use stuff from Warhammer beginning of the end times. We also had permission to use stuff from High Root of War, so that's the two mods we mostly used. We also used some animations from Mid Total War, I believe, like the zombie animation. There was a gold animation too, but it was it stretched for the gold, so we didn't use it in the end. We'll most likely replace the zombie animation, it's too slow. They will use normal animation instead. Become, <coughs> become weaker again. But will keep their numbers. Zombies should be numberless. Oh, bombard is ready. Next game fire. We are using the Kamek mods, we can zoom in on units in any way. We don't need a third person tool to zoom in. But with the third person mod, or immersion mod, we could uh, control the general in third person. Which is fun. But it's also more unstable if we do that. So maybe we shouldn't do that right now. The problem is uh, the recorder might be interrupted if we do that. If the bombard, I don't think it should be this bad. Just vanilla accuracy, it's really feeling bad. But yeah, uh, let's probably improve it. Would be good. They miss most of the time. It's the AI they hit most of the time, but not just the player. Ah, this one got stuck. That's not good. Maybe I need to select them to attack. Yeah, attack, guys. Uh, it was because they didn't select them to attack. So our allied army under Captain Ironsar has 1421 goblins, bandits, and uh, trolls, ogres, etc. They will attack the gate now with the ram. Hopefully, the enemy won't destroy the ram. They have similar units, but only the humans, the bandits. Oh, they have the pirates too with some goblins and. Works. They use the tinkers to drive the ram forward. These are inside of the ram. Firing on our troops, they will kill some of them from afar. Yeah, we will certainly play a goblin campaign. 
but this is not it. This is just a test of the new map. They wanted to play them, they had the most interesting starting position. In the middle of nowhere and they could move in both, in both directions. They wanted to try to fight the two fronts the goblins with the new recruitment. In all their releases, releases they only had the humans, the ogres, the trolls. From ogre areas, <coughs> human areas, or, or uh, troll areas. They hardly ever had, uh, hardly ever had uh, trolls, ogres, or humans. Uh, besides the uh, smirknaries, uh, but and had mostly og uh, goblins as well. But now they have access to all their troops more easily. It's more fun. Not just the goblins. I mean, the goblins are really bad infantry. Even the elite infantry is not that good, except the uh, mechs, of course, and, uh, and anything that is uh, a goblin. Uh, yeah. Anything that has a uh, mechanized mouth. At once. So they moved out with the raiders, bandit raiders. Attacking. We are sitting in there. Tail gunner, uh, I mean the Shredders. Their cavalry is very good. Yeah, number is two. Cavalry against the air cavalry. This one unit. I'm not happy with the bombard. They failed to destroy the this area. Let's move uh, forward. They have essentially missed. It's very difficult for them to destroy those. Destroy the wall instead, see if it works. Maybe we'll run out of ammo. Then we'll have to move our troops around. We still have a lot of uh, human bandits here. Highwaymen, pirate musketeers. Troops here, how many of our allies kill we kill? Some. Lost about 200 units already. So th this was the infantry portion of our army. The two best is the AI. If the AI has cavalry, they will send them in first and suicide them. So that's not good. And uh, if, if they use strange units, they might use them in melee, which is not good. Sometimes they do use them proper appropriately. And Sometimes they use them in a stupid way. They didn't want to take the risk. Our cavalry is down to the city. Perfect. Fine, you need to leave. On my way! We could send in more of the cavalry, to be honest. So our cavalry is good against their units. This game have uh, custom voices from Warcraft 3. You can hear the, the goblin, uh, I mean the, the bandits, and uh, the dwarves too, shadows, sounds. Because in 
Wolf of Three, the dwarf and the units with the same faction. They have voices. The cabins do not have custom voices. And First World of Battle I record in a long time. In a few months, three months. I did uh, some cool videos earlier that uh, sadly weren't recorded. They ended in uh, two seconds. Because of the band, the camera was working. I had done uh, two awesome videos between the Skull Crusade and the, and the Forsaken and Skull Crusade and the Skirt. Yeah, they had a new hyena unit. I did that before releasing the version with the hyena on October 11th, but it wasn't recorded. Since then I didn't really record. Shredders look really cool. We are back at using the Fenty old version of the Medieval Tutorial Engine Overall Project Tool here. I had no choice. The reason I had no choice is because the other one crashed in battle with giants. So we are using the old tool again in this version. That's also why I uploaded the mod today on Mod B on October 31st. The version I uploaded is not using the new map. Kill one of the death dealers there. Yeah, the bandit raiders are not very good. Sent them in anyway. Send our cavalry against the air cavalry. Lost 30%. Right. The blue color is our ally, the infantry. The green color is our troops. The cav our cavalry and uh, the red color is the enemy. Okay, my old Let's Play started in 2022 or 2021. And I played Lost. Uh, early 2023 I believe we only had uh, two, the goblin armies essentially but we started with all five uh, I mean all seven goblin areas uh, and moved uh, the, all the troops to I believe uh, uh, Kalimdor, Gadgets and at least the mortar troops and the ones in Ratchet and Moonrock and Mud's Prophet I believe I kept the arm and put the bay probably Goblin stretch and they die in time to get animation. Yeah, they wouldn't have a chance against the Sandalari trolls. 
bit van av för det är det orden van vi kan inte lösa nu vi kan inte ignorera det så han lär sig trots från här and we'll pass that area and go for the Tel Aviv mice instead and kill the younger trolls here and then take a lost uh, river co, the bandits some large trolls are elite so you might want to wait with that until we have an elite army try to take the easter areas first to kill the, our shredders already all of them, most of them. Disappointing. Only five remaining. They are too few, probably. They are good. Goblins, their higher tugs to fight with. <coughs> Rogue tugs. I'm happy that I could record it, but uh, we don't know if it will work properly or if it will lag or such in the, the recording. You'll we'll see. Uh, right now it looks perfect. When I play, I have wonderful graphics, no lag, no slow motion, but I don't know about the video, it might lag, or if when I process in Bandicoot it might uh, cause issues like, for example, the scenes being slower than the sound or something, you'll see, I am recording in BMB format, I have the option to pick AV, AVI too, but AVI format, have issues in Bandicoot that the scenes would end up after the sound. The sound would play after the scene. It was really bad. That's why I didn't want to use AVI. That's what Bandicam used as a default. See if BMB works better in Bandicoot or if I need to upload the video straight from the raw file which means it will be reduced more in quality which is bad but it looks perfect when I play the game I'm just not certain the video will look as good as the scene I'm looking at right now it looks certainly just as good as when I played it Shadow Play Recorder but I don't know the video might be worse we'll see happened before that uh, the game looked perfect for playing and then the video looked like shit. We'll see. It sense the game is a high women to the goblins too, they are criminals. Probably willing to fight for money. Goblins are rich. Okay, we killed 97% of 40%. We most of the troops we control.
enemies killed for the one by our three cavalry units and 1228 by the Allied Army under Captain Iron Sar, the infantry. Party and had 15 bandits and pirates, and they lost all of them. They killed 1105 of our troops. We killed slightly more. The battle statistics Bloodsail Ho Blood Hold was the area, Stormwind Bandit area, uh, and uh, I believe it's an instance in World of Warcraft or something. Could be wrong. Uh, here was 800, 616 after Dark Portal and the demons entered uh, and the Dark Horde uh, entered the Old Horde in Warcraft 1, so 616 years after that uh, Trade Prince Jaster Alright Best Unit Shredders killed 270 the Ogre Brutes killed 147, Bandits killed 109, and 88, Tinkers killed 90, uh, 99, if you aren't that good, uh, Goblin Infantry killed 83, uh, Goblin Brassier killed 75, and Goblin Death Dealers killed 124. But the best ones were the Ogres and the Shredders, and uh, then the Death Dealers Tinkers underperformed despite their numbers. Okay, Battle Statistics. Let's return to the map. Have Sylvana Swindrunner is an undead. In this campaign she is alive and is an, a hero, a ranger, general of the High Elven Kingdom of Kveltlas. But in the Frozen Throne campaign she is the leader of the Forsaken faction, the undead. Yeah, like, uh, Breakout faction that broke out from the Scourge, which is the undead of this campaign. Uh, the Scourge is also in the other campaign, but uh, in that campaign there is like a separ separatist undead faction that broke out, led by Sylvanas, that are an enemy of the Scourge, but are still undead. But unlike the Scourge, the undead of the Forsaken think for themselves and act for themselves, while the undead of the Scourge are mindless zombies and skeletons. Only their leaders have minds like the necromancers. I guess these guys managed to break out or break free from the necromancers. <coughs> <coughs> okay, we took Blood Seal Hold, let them have it. Some of them bail. It's a worthless settlement, we can't recruit anything from it. Mott and Baileys are used as worthless as uh, villages. No, we can recruit stuff from them. Unlike villages, we can recruit the basic stuff bandits, goblin rabble, goblin infantry, and goblin brassiers. We'll get that. Alright, move in the rest of the army to the have too many units. The stealers will be moved in. Out the um, bombard. Right. I think we want to leave the Brazier here. Utah on and then on the routes. Trade increase. Trade prints. Yes, sir. yeah, in this version the trades work. They've been working, I believe, since June 15th or so. What yeah. about the units over here? Recruit something. Another tracking unit. Some death dealers. Sappers. The following factions have declared truce. Gerbash troll tribe and the kingdom of 
Stormwind. Kingdom of uh, Stormguard, the Amani Troll Tribe, and the Kingdom of Keltalas, the Amani Troll Tribe. Keltalas is over there, same with the Amani Trolls. And the uh, Stormguard faction is over here, so very far away. But the Gurbat Trolls is actually uh, one of our enemies. They are very close. They start over here. We'll take these areas. So we'll move there now. We have a goblin area here, rebel goblin area. And after that we have rebel ogre areas and, and troll areas. And we'll face the Gurbashi trolls. And the storm wind is over here. So we are close to them. Okay, we will continue to march. Move the alchemists to Turn times are very fast in this game, and especially on my new SSD drive. It was so sad when I had bought a new SSD drive in late August, and then uh, fucked up the drivers in the middle of September, so or end of the end of September. So I couldn't I believe it was something somewhere around uh, September 25th or so. Then I couldn't play most of the game, or at least not. Uh, I couldn't record any almost any game and. Uh, and uh, I couldn't play the most recent games like the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot from 2020 has uh, glitched graphics let's see here we will move uh, this army down there and this uh, we could move over there fleet could move over there And um, recruit some stuff. Border guard makes sense. Go for the higher brutes, higher ogre brutes. Alright, can't move anymore this time. We also have this area, I forgot. Let's go for that and. Um, Higher stuff. Okay. I think we'll go for the bandits. Move these guys down. Ah, I forgot. Down here we have the Sandalari capital, but we don't want to take it right now. We move them back. We can move this guy uh, the next time. Telebim is over here. I suggest moving it probably here somewhere. Or here, probably here, so that it's closer to Sultasar. But might help the AI. Because when they take uh, this area, they never go for us. Telebim, I think it's too far away. We've lost cover Rigger Co here, so they will take it from there. The faction that takes Lost R R R Rigger Co here will take Telebim over here. But if we place it here, it's likely that these guys will take it. Go from Zelazar to this area. It will be more likely at least. Anyway, we'll try to move here and take Talabim next. And ignore Zelazar, it's too powerful. Garrison. Let's end the turn. Alright, the gift from the council. You have been rewarded with 3000 florins. Alright. Uh, we can go for uh, some bikes. Any cavalry unit can be moved out. The 
elite units, I think, will be moved up too. They want them to reinforce. Take a while to move across the ISOs. Alright, relations report. Poor with the night elves for the Kaldori. And the frack trolls and the Ankarai facility swarms. Insect. Okay, um. Two new units. Still disease between some factions. Over there. Turn report, same as before. Faction announcements. Central matter construction report with two new areas. Uh, I mean buildings. Three new units. Need heavy splint armor. So we'll go for that. Goblin infantry is so sucky that we need that. Okay, we could use some agents. So merchants, diplomats. We'll use the diplomat and the merchant. Sears. Don't want to convert to a village. You can't recruit any troops in my village, as far as I know. Can move over there. Can hire agent, uh, mercenaries here. Bandit raiders, bandits, and uh, musketeers. We'll go for them. Six extra troops. Reinforcements that way. Leave the general the settlement. Right. Right. They're slow because. Cannons, the bombers. These troops over here. Fortunately, we are limited to 199 settlements. That's why we can't add settlements to every single area. Okay, we'll move over here. Go for 
so hobgoblins the stealers I have a diplomat you can send a diplomat somewhere send it over there so this is the goblin diplomat also have a merchant now we want to send somewhere to the nearest resource Go there, the merchant. This is the merchant, the unique skin. The diplomat looks similar to an assassin, slightly different. Okay, the general. You can hire some mercenaries, maybe they replenished. What do you need? You want to merge the troops. Over there. I carried a mistake. Yes, my lead. Move out that unit. Move in the uh, general. Okay, so we boot the bay down here, goblin rebels, or trade collision rebels, like part of the cartel, but independent. We want to take that area, it's a good settlement too. It's not as good as our capital, which is a large city, but it's near. I believe it's a large town in this version, or, or and uh, we'll probably be at a city later. Release, we'll see. We had made it a city in a different version in the latest release, I believe. But in this version, uh, because it was slightly outdated, I believe it's still a large town. And the other areas are towns, but they will be large towns, and then this area will be a city, and the capital is a large city. We don't want them to start with a huge city, which is the final level. Alright, let's end it. Right, you will be rewarded with some of the best units currently available if we capture settlement of Aberas. Sure, we can do that. It's a troll rebel area, I believe. We can hire some trolls here too. They're mercenaries in these parts. Okay, it's the cavalry. Say the word. Be what do you need? Army. They're not wasted. Same Say the word. Range. What yeah. do you need? Yes, my liege. What do you need? Orders. And it's force. Okay, that's all. Continue to march with these units. Retrain the goblin brassiers. Recruit goblin heavy. Nah, we can't do that right now. Out of these, who are the better? Nine, one, six, twelve. Okay, we'll go for yes, that. my liege. Say the word. Send these units. All right. Still, they seized the king of 
from guard, the dark horde, which is the old horde from Warcraft 1 and to the 2. Okay, we've done reports as before. Okay, the fleet could move over there. This army could move board. We'll be able to attack during the next turn. Back to fleet over there. Put this army towards the shore. Drivers. I should never have tried to get Palworld working. Then all my games would have worked essentially, except Palworld. Um, uh, yeah. Till this sea is King of Kaltalas and the Scourge. The Undead. Equipment report with new units. Trade increase. least. You can also hire hire trolls here. It's a troll area. Merchant can continue. What's the resource? So disabled vanilla voices for the agents, which is good. Troops this way. The diplomat. These troops we sent. Let's hire some new bandits. Move these troops. So there we are. Now we are down to here. Another troll rebel area. Similar to the one in Talabim. Right, let's attack. Take it first. It's a town. So it's not as wordless as a village. We can recruit the basic troops there, just like from a modern bale. Okay, let's end the town. Rebels are not a threat, at least not the uh, troll rebels, but the actual troll faction is dangerous. They have huge armies of trolls. Recruitment completed. The bandits are late game armies are better than theirs, but our early armies are not that good. Air yeah, construction complete, but our me medium troops are on an even level, I believe. They have a lot of cavalry that's better than our cavalry other elites are better in melee when legion <laughs> had taken the financial spot of blame okay we can attack here now uh, let's see and I want to move something happened Okay, the cavalry do? will Say pull the into word. this army. Think 
most of these units will be moved. What do you need? Except maybe. One of the highwaymen. I need to move in the infantry. Orders? Could still move them out. Perfect. You might have a bomb bird. Let's move it to the other army. They're mostly cavalry and long range. Then we have a Backup force of infantry. Alright, I think we'll attack now actually. Save the game too. Alright, I'm strength reach of 5 1. They have a uh, bodyguard of 12 warriors. Bad bodyguard. And they have the 12 archers. They're about headhunters, javelin throwers, spears, basic spearmen. Basic axe throwers, but the axe throwers are pretty good. They have um, penetrate uh, armor, and they have the Gerbash primitives, basic Gerbash unique troops. But they are really basic. Uh, so we'll fight the battle on the battle map. We didn't plan to take this area first, but before we put the bay, but we wanted to take it because uh, we'll be rewarded with some of our best currently available troops if we take it, so it's worth it, and it's easy to take. Very weak garrison, very few numbers. Uh, the Battle of Tel Aviv will be similar. Uh, start th so this is a Gurbashi troll rebel area. Alright, we have the cam hack on. In some battles it won't be on. You need to click on the advisor and uh, then click on the backspace button and then the end button to activate it. And sometimes it's not possible if the advisor do not show or if you forget to click on it. Uh, and uh, you also need to have the game options, uh, the little wall camera one. It doesn't work with another camera. And if, if they, the advisor do not show, you need to click on reset advisor and wait one or two battles before it resets. This is the general, Tinker general, goblins. <coughs> goblins do not have a unique general as the unit. The general is trapped with the unit. But I believe they have a unique captain, unless it's a tail gunner. If that's the case, they had a unique one in the past. But it was uh, for bad quality, probably. It might have been removed. This is a Gurbashi village, no a town, it has a palisade wall. This is like the second level of settlement. We'll take it. Let's uh, lose formation with this. Place this over here. Start the battle. Try to destroy the gate. Oh, by the way, all of these units could be loose formation. The trolls have a really, really, really long range. They're archers. Okay, and the other army can attack immediately. They have no range units. will attack. They have two rams. The rams can be used against uh, not just the gates but also against the palisade walls. So. Here we have the Gerbashi uh, primitives. It's a unique unit for this troll faction. But all the trolls can recruit each other's units, I believe. The latest version of the release of the old map and in this version, but not in. Seradan's updated version because he made a map on a, an updated version so I will need to add that to his version but yeah in this version I have added it so we can if we place trolls we can recruit all the other trolls if they have, have their areas so 
attack their archers, our highwaymen and our higher trolls. Gate the old bird. Killed many of our crews. Gunners are not good uh, over walls, so you want to use them. These are our trolls. I have trolls. These are their trolls. They are using the forest to the bash skins. Should probably be changed. Some of them are uh, proper jungle trolls, and others are. Forest trolls. We need to fix that. They use the trooper. They should be good bash trolls. Fired wheel. Yeah, the trolls are really long range. So they are better archers from afar. Very cool. They have similar range to the enemy. Then we have the highwaymen and they are not as good. They they are better against armored units at least. They have shorter range. against the trolls, it's good to have range units. Killed at 6%, lost 5%. Where's it going on the other side? Fighting over here. Should be stronger than the bandits, probably. Let's see. 10 attack, 2 charge, 12 defense, 1 hit point. Fighting up against armor and such. These guys have worse abilities, probably. Combat bonus in woods. Excellent morale, good stamina. And these had. Uh, they have better abilities, but these guys had 9 attack, 1 charge bonus, 11 defense. Yeah, the humans are slightly better actually, but the uh, trolls are more numerous, I think. Shredders too. Death dealers. There's a fire at wheel, in case they are fired. Oh, we have a hero special ability, fire with a and a dark horn. All the starting heroes have this ability. You see our ability, hero special ability, bloodlust, increase army fatigue on own army. Fatigue modifier minus 2000 permanent falls. Can use it. Our troops will fight better. Will 
have their fatigue restored. Everybody used it too soon. The bathroom. Bandits are slightly better than their basic warriors here, which are better than the, their basic rebel units. They are like their, should I say, medium units. And the bandits are all medium units, and they are slightly better. game you could probably only zoom in this much or, or this now we can see it this view very good almost as epic as controlling the general they move back used to be fired at by our highwayman Taking revenge for their javelins that they threw at our infantry. And we're firing her arrows instead. And our higher patrols sent in to 
to fire, they shouldn't just run straight into the enemy. Kill them all! Yeah, they use the custom voices. Same with the night elves, the high elves, the blood elves, and the dwarves. The dwarves are the same as the humans, and the high elves and blood elves are the same. Yeah, and then they have the night elves too, with custom voices, unique to the night elves. I believe that the Nag and Faction shares the, bl uh, the blood elves and Voices, I believe. Continue. It's a siege battle. These guys are pretty cool, especially the ones with helmets. Area. The next battle of Tel Aviv will be similar to this one. And then uh, the battle of Close Trigger Cove will be similar to the first one against bandits. And then Gadgetsan and the Bay will be against goblins, so they will be similar too. After that, we will probably have to fight uh, some real factions too. Troll factions, Ferrat trolls, and Gurbati uh, trolls. Trade Prince Yast, 2186 men, lost 142, 2044 remaining, killed 174. Captain Driss had 659 infantry, lost 331. 328 remaining, so we lost slightly more than we have remaining. We killed 399. Okay, and San of Ebrus had 979 trolls, lost all of them. Killed 529 of our troops. Statistics, Ebrus, 617 after the dark portal. Best unit in our army was the troll ambushers, killed 104. The best infantry was the bandits, killed 142. Gildan Stormridge here is a part of the Night Elven faction. In this campaign, the Reign of Chaos campaign, he's the leader of the Nag or Illidari faction in the Frozen Throne campaign. This is just play testing for fun. I also wanted to record something uh, with Warcraft Total War on the new map, of course. And I like the idea of playing the goblins from this location. That's why I went with them. Other factions will have managed to build up and conquer some areas before we reach them. Bang a few heads, just walk in, we'll walk in. Yes, my lead. Okay, let's move in the shredders. Okay, we'll go for the training grounds. We'll retrain the troll. Higher trolls. Mission complete. Good, we got new units, sappers, our capital. Yeah. Horde fleet. They are neutral. All the versions, they were allied. No, they are neutral. Might attack. What 
you need. What do you need? So, need to move. Wait one turn, probably. They want to move out the units. That trolls. This is a troll area. Right, let's move out these guys. Sappers this way. The other two could be sent this way. Send these guys are there. my liege. Orders? What do you need? Orders? What do you need? Orders? What do you need? Feeling the general even if it's infantry. Here we look what Say the word. Orders? Range units too. this time. Okay, we'll place one there. This boat. Range is going to be loose. 
transformation move them the one group Others could attack. We can start with the skeletons. Skeleton army. We waste them first. They are raised the human skeletons by the necrolites. They hide. We hire them to as marginaries. They are raised by the necrolites. Same with the orc skeletons. That's why I thought anyway. Skeletons are close. Hand 
wondering, they just need to use the rams. Because these are our bombards. Destroy the gate. Kill all their archers now. 5% of the troops. Minor factions get battered, rebels. We really need to fix the amount of skin they are not. Money that will be their passion. Good, they destroy the gate, now the skeletons will enter. Perfect. Fight their melee unit. Yeah, they're back to three materials. Really basic unit, but you need you need travel.
Oh, yes, the bash here. Captain or general, I think it's a general. Yeah, general. Died. XM2. Died. down the marginalized and the goblins. So they only have two of each type. Because now they have only two settlements at the start. So it makes sense. Unless of course they trade marginalized uh, and the other uh, cartels. We killed 88% uh, of them, we lost 5%, we will easily win this. Another troll town. Pretty strong against trolls in the early game. Against the human kingdom of Stormwind, they will not be very strong. But against the real troll army, they might be in a worse position. Dreaders are really. Skeletons, Marknaris, etc. So they would have uh, some numbers in the form of Marknaris against the Scourge in Northern. Now they aren't in Northern anymore, so we could probably lift them down the numbers. We'll see.
goblins are much more fun now. And they don't just have goblins. With the mercenaries and stuff. The orc skeletons are mercenaries for the shamanitic factions, the trade coalition, the dark horde and the horde, but they are also regular units for the I believe uh, the dark horde. They are regular units for the scourge, but only if they are in orc territory. So you won the battle. Okay. Our best unit was the higher troll ambushers, killed 266. And another one killed 193. Our allies' best unit killed 121. Was the goblin shredders. Goblin city of Gadgets and we will get to Booty Bay on the other front first, which is also a goblin area. In this version of the mod, I believe that Gadgets is a town and uh, Booty Bay is a large town, probably. have it okay the units we want are the goblins first and foremost all right what do you need orders but other units right so two armies something the bomb bird not the shredder what do you need yes my leech do you want to tinker say the word what do you need yes bandits Say the word. Yes, my liege. Alright, let's go for this building. Military building. What do you need? Can leave the procedures. Over there. Yes, my liege. Orders? The rabbits now. We should probably leave the rabble in the city. It's good for militia duties. Trade increase, big government trade collision. It's futile, tell them. Rabs. Something. Let's go for the heavy splint armor. Thunder mine. We are 
attack by rebels. It's the son of Larry trolls. Yeah, the AI can sometimes attack with rebels. This is not good. See their stats. They have uh, bodyguard, Son of Larry prophets, one of the best mages in the game. 26 total defense, really good stats. Just a few numbers. They have the Son of Larry troll prophets, two of them. They have the Son of Larry thunder guards. Uh, 28 defense, uh, really good stats these guys. Could start the battle and try to retreat. We'll do that. We'll save the game in case we have issues. So battle on the battle map. I didn't expect the rebels to come and attack us. Yeah, those trolls are very strong. So we didn't want to provoke them with our medium troops. I don't think numbers would have won. I think quality would have won. Okay, so... Uh, we do have some elite units here. Artificiers. Sappers. Really good range units here and the lead troops. Look at the death stealers, they are still worse than their troops. Didn't want to waste them. Could probably waste the unit to if they can shoot down. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh, problem that the bikes are the general, the captain, then they can't use the shelter and shoot the belt that they want to use. These guys here to defend. Start the battle. Mm -hmm. Use the captain's ability to send a horn. So these are the infantry units. Some ladder trolls. And the swordsman. They also have these guys, the Thunder Guards, better defense, heavy maces, really powerful. We might add the Sandalari faction, but uh, it would be good if it had an entire army of these trolls instead of the same units. We'll see if it will happen in the future. I know that Zerdan or Bant, he, he wants to add the Sandalari faction, and we have them in a sub mode, but that tragedy, so we could easily add the code. We do not have the actual army. We have only three unique units. I could have uh, more units available from a World of Three uh, package, but they would need to be rigged for World of Two. I think we will simply retreat. Except maybe not with the bikes. Over there, when I think about it, we wanted to move over there. All right, and uh, we don't want them to fire on their infantry. I want them to fire on their mage. Two mage units. 
they are floating in the air. The sound lar very unique for rebels in the past that could be recruited as regional troops if you took their capital of Sandalar's trolls in the latest release. And in this version you can get them Marknaris and a troll area too, but the AI is not likely to recruit Marknaris. They do it very rarely. Uh, especially in the early game they do it, but then they stop. Uh, but they are also available as re regular troops for all the trolls uh, from their final settlement level. So they will be more common in the troll armies. Fastest unit in the game. Only the rockets are faster. Oh, they have no ammo left. Let's retreat. Can fight in melee too. With swords from their bikes. Mm -hmm. Destroyed. When you 
general to undermine. No, somewhere else. Aberrace, actually. Here immediately. Okay. Lost Trigger Co. Town. We have General Jordan. Bodyguard of Bandits. It's the same as the first battle, but fewer troops will attack. Uh, they have an entire new army here. Move them over here. Attack. Could attack with the bombers immediately, but we don't want to do that. Wait one turn, I believe. Move the fleet again. Matic information: the Kingdom of Lordran and the Scourge undead. The declared truce: the Kingdom of Stormguard and the Scourge. The declared truce. Units, um, the Scourge has the strongest military still, and this overall strongest faction, they have the best production in the world. The Burning Legion, the Demons have the best financial situation, and the King of Lordran still has the largest population. We'll move out certain units next time. Immediately, perfect. We have three armies, but we'll need to move there even if we turn into one on. We'll easily take Lost Tricker Co. Then we'll go for Gag, it's and which is over here, I believe. Somewhere. Let's move back. It's too dangerous to be here now when they have some large trolls. down another shredder unit would be good in undermine still constructing the training grounds Telebim and here we can go for some brassiers some goblin brassiers can move these guys I mean, troll, Gerbashi diplomat, okay. We have a rebel army. Goblins. Men of the same units as we have. Goblin units. Could let orders. So they have archers and one unit. You know, they could yes, let the cavalry be in the allied army. Orders. Uh, yes, Archers are the better ones to be used for the AI. They are worse at using gunners, I believe. There is using them in melee sometimes. Need to send one gunner and use yes, a pirate unit. Alright. Now we can attack and take out one of their goblin armies. They have mercenaries here, perfect. 
go for some more pirates. Don't get rabble. I've never played this game with the Markmares before. I've never played any release this year. Except in custom battle. They have the Seers, Tail Gunners, Golden Infantry, Captain Rebel, and some Tinkers. Okay, we'll set a game. The way saves can get corrupted, we need at least two saves. It can get corrupted in medieval too. It happens in higher level at least. So you don't just want one save, you need two at all times because when you overwrite the corrupted save it starts working again. But if you only have one then you will lose your progress if it gets corrupted. Deployment. Activate the Kamek mode. Perfect. Okay. Bombard can be loose formation and uh, one of them can have uh, flaming uh, arm ammo. On. Okay, the range units be separate. Loose formation. Fat wheel. Infantry, I think, could uh, attack. The AI control, except the general. Start the battle, post the game. Reinforcements. Firm steel spring. Okay, our enemy is far away. Regionals previously, and uh, 
that also made it very rare to have them in the army. As you hardly wear in their areas. It's better to not have them available from cold areas. The mercenaries might be changed, they could be lowered in available units or might be removed depending on lore and other stuff. I don't know. I thought they fit, but you know, can always change stuff to make it better or more accurate. Okay, we kind of want send the rabble too. They are worthless. We want them to be spent. Early we probably send the cavalry. They will be spent first, most likely. Yeah. You won't send our gunners. We'll lose the cavalry. So they will be first to reach the enemy. They are good against the infantry, that's why I allow them to be used. The battle. It sucks that we will lose them. In case the another faction attacks, we won't have capital. This is just goblin rebels. That we would have in our army if we had started with the region. They will most likely be in the player's army. In the official version. Skeletons have reached the enemy soon. This orc skeletons. Normal speed. These guys look really cool. But the battlefield wasn't good. Mountain battlefield. I don't like mountainous battlefields. Hammer is so odd. So off. There are human skeletons. Skeletons are fighting. They are goblin rebel troops. Really cool, like goblin legionnaires. Style troops. Alright. Good that we reached the enemy before the cavalry. Skeletons. Should have sent the rabble sooner. They didn't see all their troops in the beginning. They only saw two units. They are fighting one of the independent cartels. They only sent out half their army. They have the other half in the city of Booty Bay. Without half the army, so that's good. We won't, won't have to fight the entire army now. In the city. Yeah, the skeletons are pretty 
bad. The only good thing with skeletons is that they fight to the death. They do not have any muscles, they are not very strong, despite their size. And, uh, they don't have good defense, they can easily be cut off, I mean, cut off their limbs, etc. Their skeletons. Skeletons are even worse. This is an enemy thinker unit. I had forgotten about the CD recorder that I played previously. I'm happy that I managed to use it in this game. Hopefully the buttons won't lag or have slow motion or like the scenes being slower than the sound or something. I'm worried it could have issues. When I play it, it has no issues at all and it looks great. And no lag in either. But uh, when I I watched the video, there might be, we'll see. Hopefully not. Kill 18% and lost 10% of our troops. The goblin troops are better than our skeleton troops and rabble. Better than the bandits, etc. I have some shredders here. Only three, so they will probably lose. We have a lot of numbers. Only 25 receivers. Yes. Back to the battle. Oh, skeletons are pretty big.
up the cavalry. Enemy goblin rebel. Send our rebel against them.
but uh, hopefully we can fix the guy and the dogs in a different way by editing the meshes so that we do not need to use the creature fix anymore. Goblin Brissiers with their small maces and clubs against giant pirate ogre roots. Kill the enemy captain. Then he was led by a captain. Enemy rabble. We lost 21%. Kill 79%, so we are winning. We had quite a few losses. This is the hardest battle yet, I believe. We have fought the mod. This release, or not released. This version, this is not released. Fighting, I'm not fighting in the league. They're tinkers. Lead you. Same as the models, the general. Double. Lost quite a few, we lost 23%. They lost 91%. We yeah, had entire army, we had more than one army. One army and then a four. But we had been in battle and they had like half an army. That's a fully sized probably. Hadn't been in battle. Gunners and other stuff. Let's end the 
Okay, Trade Prince Jaster killed 581 and Sherm Steel Spring killed 535. So, uh, Trade Prince Jaster lost 513, have 398 remaining at 893, and Sherm Steel Spring had 635 men, goblins, um, lost 767, 468 remaining. The enemy captain Busek of the Goblin Rebels of Booty Bay. Goblin Cartel of Booty Bay uh, had 176 goblins, lost 1258, and eight remaining. We killed 790. So we killed almost the same, we killed more. Both are armies. Battle statistics Booty Bay, the region of Booty Bay, 617 after the Dark Portal. Best unit and our, our army, Oak Skeletons, 270, tw uh, 222 dead or killed, I mean, that one, one our ally, best unit, bandit raiders, 188, Large town. We have uh, Krinkel Nogenfogger, Goblin Death Stealers, Bodyguard of Hobgoblin Bodyguards. They have a third year to it. We don't know what it is. Yeah, this will probably become a city and the other areas town. it. Garrison script, we've already seen that. You will be rewarded with some of the best units. Good, we want to do that. Uh, diplomatic information. The following factions are now at war with each other. The Kingdom of Strongard, the Amani Troll Tribe, uh, and the uh, Faraki Troll Tribe, uh, and the uh, Human Expedition Terramor have declared a truce. Rack your an enemy to two units training grounds constructed. Alright. Okay, we'll uh, see. Attack this place. We want 
Rams. Can't reach the area right now. New bandits are coming. Go for another brisade here. In blood sale hold. Bandit can move. Move these units too. Another try would be good. Let's move these units towards capital. In case we are followed by the Sandalar, it rolls the AI can surprise. Say the word. What do you need? Yes, my liege. What do you need? Yes, my liege. Orders. Right. All right. 
guys for sure. What do you need? Yes, my liege. What do you need? Then I had one more unit. Say the word. Rams there. I already have rams here, so that's fine. Um, have rams there. You can also hide in your troops. Okay, we will hire some new troops. What do you need? Alright. I think we will attack. Save first, of course. We have big up in trade coalition with 762 men, the main army. Then we have Captain Sickle with 2,735 goblins and other creatures. Captain Raspo with 321 men, bandits, 98 goblins and others. Captain Blessick and Captain Ravilgus with 423 men. We will attack. So I didn't get to activate the Kamek mode this time. Hit reset the advisor. Okay, um, these guys would be loose formation. One group. Guys, two. Oh, add two more pirates. What up there? I have these guys too. But to use one gunner unit, maybe not. We'll, we'll use the bodyguard ram. Battle. Okay, 
Ah, det, åh, men... This will start to fire immediately. Karen group. And this will shoot dead. And this will shoot dead. Had a pirate unit. Didn't they have any like other units? Like rams? Had shredders too. This armor didn't have uh, uh, a ram. These guys will, of course, start to fire as soon as possible. <coughs> These guys have rams, and they will attack. These guys didn't have that. They will attack the bombards. Our bodyguard will, of course, destroy the gate. We can send in the infantry. The enemy are bandits, like in the first battle. Now it's a Terramore settlement instead of a Stormwind settlement. Yellow and white. Similar settlement in Lordhead Town. Similar garrison. Consume in more now. This is the max you can zoom in in the vanilla game. Sometimes the Kamek mod doesn't work. Because we didn't get to select the, the device. Not as epic when we consume in. Oh, the gunners can fire over. Tail gunners. General, we don't want her trade prince to be over there. Move him back. Should be firing. in our cavalry units. Fire. That's 
there, they should still have done it. first They didn't have a sludge force here, I think, or maybe they did do. They also have some pirates. We'll send in cavalry first. in our Guys, I regret that, but when you click the attack, they seem to not be stopping. You can't stop it. So I click on them, and I regret it. Too late. Uh, they want to do first when the bandits. Stealers. 
goblins. So I don't have the numbers. Even had the first goblin unit. Yeah, it's a bit easy against the rebels when we have mercenaries. The playable factions will be more difficult, I believe. Setting up 
heavy man in the lead. They sword. Both hands are blade. Knife in one hand. Sword in the other. Take food to bay and get get sent to the end the year, then maybe play more later. Need those goblin areas. So we've taken two out of, out of seven, we started with one. So we have three out of seven, we need four more after that. The others are very far away. We need a fleet to be.
percent than we killed. You on the back. Alright, had quite a few troops. Three full sized armies pretty much, and two smaller ones. Killed 929 troops, we killed fewer. Ogre Brutes killed 113. And now my rat, we got an trade coalition. This is futile of the co. Trade increased. We got an trade coalition. Yes, my liege. What do you need? Bandits. Say the word. With the rest of the army. What do you need? Orders. Flats is here, Sulfurak is here, we have Gadgeson here somewhere, I believe. I think they've already moved through. What do you need? Alright. These troops 
back to the capital. Let's go for another government artificer. Maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go for it. Maybe not. We want another heavy infantry unit. Say the word. Yes, my liege. Range, you know, what do you need? Out. Orders. Don't need range unit. Say the word. Um, Yes, my liege. Say the word. I think I'll win. I just sent the Indus guys. We'll attack now. Alright, um, we'll set the game here. Okay, 
birds. It'll be prepared to send in our infantry too. Shredder alive here. I love the jungle terrain. years but now with this map it will be awesome and both campaigns are ready so Seridan wants to do a uh, World of Warcraft, Warcraft class version too. Just the map and gameplay. The 
be released very soon. But I want to add the final strat models too. So probably late November. Then we are done with the Warcraft 3 and Frozen Tron mod. I will instead uh, copy paste it and change it into a virtual Warcraft mod. <coughs> Then the plan is to remove a bunch of uh, peasant units and siege engines and, uh, and other units and replace it with uh, other units and, and add more factions. We have uh, six additional factions we can add.
Alright, I scale. Settlement. there. Right. Well, I attacked the death dealers. Generals should belong to 
trade coalition and then start to undermine the bay or panic mode. But uh, the areas that are in Kalimdor or such may be better off as rebel. But the leaders, I think, should be part of the trade coalition. We have more generals at the start with hero abilities. They have unique uh, hero abilities. And they have this unique ability. Bloodlust, Fabric Ford, and the Dark Lord start with generals. So basically, the rebels have the starting generals. Bandits are a lot better than the militia. They look like militia, but they are much better. Same with the board and board merchants, they are also better than militia. And uh, I thought militia is much better than the normal militia. start with all their generals but they should have them at uh, uh, fewer areas so you still have the, the trade princes as part of the trade coalition you just don't start with all the settlements you can have rebel goblins without the generals being rebels the generals could be part of the faction because they have the unique bloodlust to build uh, makes it unfair the Dark Horde and other playable factions have a million generals with such ability. Let them have it! Okay, um, we'll build this now.
What do you need? The rent. So Say the word. Cavalry. Orders. What do you need? These troops. Say the word. What do you need? Traveler is a spy. I dare to have get Sam. It's been taken by the trolls. We are dwarf the trolls. They have uh, followed Sul the Scared. Faction are the bodyguard of Raki Champions. Bodyguard is their air. Some few sealets. Raki Champions. Blood drinkers. Some few extras. Armored scorpions. Zombies. Experiment. They have some really good units there, actually. Um, we will send skeletons there. We have an agent, track a hydromancer. Say the word. Orders? What do you need? Orders? Upgrade the 
Advantage, let's end the turn. A new general at Boot Bay, nice. The besieged Aberas. Gurbashi army, including Gurbashi tribal warriors, unique warrior unit of the Gurbashi troll archers, shared with the uh, Amani trolls, troll spears also shared, and the Fraki have similar units, as those units, troll archers, unique lead unit, the serpentine guards. They are attacking there. You need orders. Hi, Bayman. What do you need? Pirates can have half an army. Say the word. Units. Nation. Following factions are now at war with each other. Dark Iron Dwarves and the Lords of Cast Modern. Following factions have declared a truce the Kingdom of Lordaeron and the Manic Troll tribe. Relations report we have very poor relations with the Night Elves of Kalori, the Ankarai. Smiley, right, nothing to do 
here. Diplomat can be moved. This unit can be moved too. These units. Get five units there. Other auger, more cavalry. Bombers have infantry army. Do they have rams? Yeah, they do. Ranged oh, you don't want to use it. You have some range units. They have uh, Grubashi Headhunters, we've seen them before. They have Grubashi Blood Slayers. So the Tiki Warriors, Troll Archers, Serpentine Guards, Troll Axe Throwers, Troll Warriors, Grubashi Tribal Warriors. Out of these, the Tribal Warriors and the Serpentine Guards are unique. The Enchanted Tiki Warriors are shared between all the Trolls. Good bunch of blood slay slayers are unique, and the headhunters are unique, but they, all the trolls have have uh, a javelin thrower. This is just unique in terms of how it looks. No cavalry. All the troops managed to join. Good. You will fight this battle. Then. Battle of Aberas. Fight the battle on the battle map. You have 10 4 advantage. Army strength ratio. First battle against Igor Bashi army. But it's not the strongest one. They had some elite units, but all of them were infantry. They had no cavalry in the army. Cavalry is what we like, so... We do not have the best infantry neither, but... The air infantry is pretty good, but... So we have a, an archer unit here... And an infantry unit... They are trolls, they have archers... All oh, these guys over here... Looks formation... This is a Gurbashi town. They want to take. Uh, 
reinforcements uh, killed Stogwitch and Trade Prince Yaster. Oh, the Trade Prince is controlled by Aya now, he might die. Could lose the campaign because we have too few leaders, probably. basic like these guys tribal warriors might be medium I think they are medium but uh, the chant the ticky warriors are elite the same with the serpentine guards and the blood slayers rest are either basic or medium Bash troll tribes, the jungle trolls, they are inspired by the Aztecs, I believe. So 
the army is very much like an Aztec army. Cavalry advantage. We didn't have too many cavalry units, only very few. They won't matter much. I believe. <laughs> they will be crushed by the elite blood slayers. If they had attacked a weaker unit, they could have been good against morale, but against their elite. Yeah. 
drive him and more bandits. Brassiers. Goblin Brassiers. That's bad. They're not as good in Lee. Not like they're fighting in Lee. Not all of them are idiots. Alright. Killed. Oops, and then he's killed, but of course it's evenly matched. Another army coming too. They had upper hand, they had upper ground. Killed most of the alchemists, all of them. Without them firing anything. Exactly. The Aztecs believed in serpent gods, and uh, the same is true for the Yorubash souls.
Oh, the warp micro lights arrived. They are powerful. You need to change your skin to be dark horde. For the dark horde. But it's okay that they are. Oh, I can only use one as a as a mercury, I guess. That's why they don't use the dark horde one. We, we need the mercenary skin to be the dark horde one. They are banned in the normal horde. Makes sense to have the dark horde skin. Then they fit better in the dark horde. And the skin is fine for the trade player. Kill them, and allies killed. Goblins have too few starting generals. They really need all of them. As generals start, they don't need all the areas, but they need all the generals. They had seven generals. Now they have two. Fighting. Ah, this 
zero shaken, zero numbered.
this game can be played uh, from out and above you and uh, strategically too, but I prefer just playing both from birth nowadays. Sometimes I play strategically. Most of the time I like just watching stuff. tougher than the rebels. It for them some lot for five percent. Thank you. 
gar nicht vom Lee.
Troops are dead on his kid. I'm going to tell you, it's still raining now. Got an American advantage. Two armies. battle, 61% two armies, they lost 27% Killed 79 percent, lost 62 percent.
percent or six percent. The leading is twenty percent. We had two armies very for two versus one. Just didn't join the battle, perfect. He's still alive, the sword he was dead. This is Jaster. The other general survived too. I don't know if the general survived with the bodyguard. He's still alive. Five, no, the general died. He lost one general. Killing Slowwitch. Switch. Hilix. Hilix. Slow switch. Hold the 
deals except allies had a lot of hired for Finally they used their bows, they made them to land in melee. Alright, let's go to battle. Trade Prince just to kill 37 of the enemy. The other army other. Kilix, slog switch. Enemy killed 2501. Captain Sulf the Grabash. They killed way more troops. Okay. Best unit on our army is the Bandits. Jaster, the best unit of the Goblin Brazil, get 132. Okay. Longest enemy doesn't have a lot of cavalry or heavy infantry, we are pretty good. But against heavy cavalry or heavy infantry, we'll get in trouble. How can we get our best uh, range units and such? We have some decent cavalry uh, infantry too. We need to replace that. Paper states banned. What do you need? Yes, my liege. Orders. Found the Dabaras. The baby is a large town. Here's the border to the Gurbash, there are tons of Say the word. Yes, my liege. Could take this area too. They want to do it. 
comment if you want to. We'll wait. We did. I wait one turn. So they attacked. But they, they didn't attack the right arm. We backed up. Uh, retreat with the bombards. Orders. Send out the cavalry unit. Scout area. Reverse to town. Some amber. Say the word. Troops. Oh, more troops. Bandits, including raiders. Building, fighting rounds. Take three turns to construct. You have three units there. Power nine five in our favor. We'll wa uh, wait for the path. Right, so we'll pause here. Okay, see you later.
maybe in another video or the same video we'll see. Bye.